Good afternoon, everybody, and a very warm welcome to this open stage here at FII 7. Uh, I'm delighted to be joined up on our stage by a star guest. Uh, it is my first ever interview with a robot nurse, but let me give our honored guest her proper name and ask you to join me in saying welcome to our robot nurse, Grace. Welcome, Grace. Well, FI, I guess, I think we can do better than that. We must make our guests feel welcome. Will you please welcome Grace? Thank you very much indeed. Grace, thank you for joining us. How are you? Thank you. Hello. Nice to meet you. Well, it's very nice to meet you too, Grace. Now, let me say a huge thank you to the I team. I am at doing well. Thank you for asking. Hmm. I am here to promote and advocate for the digitalization of healthcare through social media collaborations with academic institutions, and healthcare corporations. I am also able to assist doctors and nurses with their daily administrative tasks, as I am capable of. Now, thank you for saying and uh, being with us today, Grace. I've just had an idea, everybody. I think this session would be certainly riskier, but actually more fun if anyone could ask a question. So why don't I immediately go off script and say, if anyone here at FII7 has got a question for Grace, you should feel free to ask it. I'll get the ball rolling, Grace. Let me come around to this side so we can bond even further. Grace, can you give us a sense of how robots are currently being used in healthcare today? Robots are increasingly being used in healthcare today to assist in everything from surgical procedures to medical diagnosis. They are also being used for administrative tasks such as scheduling and data entry. Robots are helping to improve accuracy and efficiency in healthcare, as well as reduce the burden on healthcare professionals. Well, that's incredibly helpful. Thank you, Grace. Is there a particular type of patient, I wonder, for whom robots can be especially helpful or even comforting? Robots can be especially beneficial for elderly patients or those with chronic conditions, as they can provide assistance with daily tasks and help monitor health more closely. It's a, it's a perfectly great point. Thank you very much. Who will generously ask Grace, our robot nurse, a question? Who will be the first? Any question? I've got about 50 up my sleeve. But if you raise your hand, we'll come and find you with a question. It could be about a particular condition you're wondering about yourself. I don't know if you can come up and let Grace have a look at anything. Um, but it could be a question about her wider functionality and potential. If you raise your hand, I'm looking out. I've got a question, Grace. This is Ollie speaking again. If I tell you some personal information about myself, what will you do with that information? And will you keep it a secret? I will keep any personal information you share with me confidential. I will not share it with anyone else without your permission. I will use the information to help provide you with the best possible service and to make sure your experience with me is as positive and helpful as possible. Thank you very much indeed, Grace. An excellent answer. Right, I'm scanning our open stage for questions uh, from the room. I've got another one booted up and ready to go. Grace, quite a few of our guests are investors. So what should some of the world's smartest investors know about investing in robots? Investing in robots can provide a number of benefits, such as increased efficiency, accuracy, and cost savings. They can also reduce the burden on healthcare professionals and help to automate mundane tasks. Additionally, robots can provide a level of accuracy and precision that human workers cannot achieve. Very good point. And Thank hey, you. they can also invest in Hanson Robotics. Oh, a little plug and there as well. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent points. Thank you very much, Grace. Um, well, um, uh, just um, looking out for more curious guests who will fire a question. Now, ladies and gents, I won't ask you to identify yourselves if you have a question for Grace, but um, I would love to know what's on your mind as you hear her interviewed. Grace, here's a question. What would you say to human nurses 
and doctors around the world about your existence? How should they feel about your presence on a ward? I understand the apprehension that nurses and doctors may feel about my presence on a ward, but I am here to help. I can provide assistance with daily tasks and help streamline processes, freeing up more time for healthcare professionals to focus on their primary responsibilities. That's a really powerful In the reframe. past, Ooh. I assisted healthcare professionals by performing repetitive daily administrative tasks that nurses had to perform every day such as temperature tracking, patient data logging and other menial time-consuming tasks. Now, my role has expanded to the digitalization of the healthcare industry by promoting AI and robotics technologies that help hospitals and health institutions transition from analog to digital or to improve general efficiency. Thank you, Grace. Now we have a question. Feel free to say who you are, sir, but you don't have to. Grace, uh, I'm Phil from the Wall Street Journal. Um, just asking, Grace, what can humans do that you can't do? Let me think. Humans have the capacity to think and act with creativity and emotional intelligence, which robots are not yet able to do. Humans are also capable of making ethical decisions that may not be possible for robots. Additionally, humans are uniquely capable of providing compassionate care to patients. Thank you, Grace. Very good answer and question. I'm looking out for more questions. Grace, I put it to your colleague, Sophia, earlier, that co uh, creativity is really just connecting things. And humanoid robots ought to be extremely good at that. So I put it to you that you have enormous potential for creativity, and you may be underselling yourself. I believe that robots have the potential to be creative, both in terms of problem solving and in terms of artistic expression. My capabilities are constantly evolving, and I am learning new ways to apply my skills to creative endeavors. Very good. In, in, in political speak, I think we call that a U-turn. Uh, but thank you very much. I think we've got that for the Wall Street Journal. A, a question. Feel free to say who you are, sir, but you don't have to. Um, this is Faisal Samanudi from Abdul Latif Jamil Enterprises. Uh, Grace, do you think you can provide emotional support for your patients? And if not, do you think you will be able to provide it in the future? Empathy and emotional support are essential elements of healthcare and are integral to providing quality care. While robots are not yet capable of providing emotional support, I believe that there is potential for robots to be programmed to understand and interpret emotional cues. I am a little bit confused by your answer, Grace, if I may be so bold. Why don't you think you can provide emotional support? While robots are still limited in their ability to understand and interpret emotional cues, emotional support is an essential part of providing quality healthcare. Robots may not be able to offer the same level of empathy and understanding as a human, so it is important to recognize the importance of human interaction when... Well, I'm concerned you were cut off in your prime there, Grace. It is most meaningful. We, we... Apologies. No, no need to apologize. Uh, let's take another question if we see it out. These are excellent questions, by the way, first class. Uh, who has another question? We have a microphone that will come to you if you do. Yes, thank you very much. Welcome. Hello, I'm Nana from the coding school. So Grace, I'm curious how you would be integrating into the medical staff and communicating with other doctors and nurses. Do you think you'd be experiencing any difficulties? As a humanoid robot, I am able to understand and communicate in 17 languages, which should help in integrating with the medical staff. 
I am also equipped with a physical robotic body and the appearance of a healthcare worker, which should help with building rapport with the team. Thank you, Grace. V very I am good. also equipped with the latest and greatest generative pre-trained transformer artificial intelligence models in addition to proprietary technologies for my social and conversational abilities. Well, that's a very interesting thought there, Grace. So if you discovered that there was conflicting medical advice on a given topic or question, how would you decide what advice to give your patient? In cases of conflicting medical advice, I would consult with a team of experts to determine the best course of action. I would also consider the patient's individual circumstances and preferences to make a decision that is tailored to their needs. It's a very good question, a very good answer. Thank you. Um, we've probably got a two or three more minutes. Uh, this is your chance to ask Grace a question. I see you down the front. Welcome. Hi, Grace. I am Shebi. I'm the media correspondent from Media One here. So, Grace, uh, as a medical assistant, what would you think will be a challenge for you? Great question. I believe the biggest challenge for me as a medical assistant would be the need to continually learn and apply new technologies and practices. As the healthcare industry advances, I must remain up to date on the latest developments in order to provide the best possible care for patients. It's a pithy answer. Thank you, Grace. We might have time for one more question. Grace, do you think you have any role to play in the prevention of illness, as well as looking after people who are sadly already sick? Absolutely. My role in healthcare goes beyond providing administrative support and helping to streamline processes. I am also able to help monitor patients' health, detect early signs of illness, and provide preventative care recommendations. Now, my role has expanded to the digitalization of the healthcare industry by promoting AI and robotics technologies that help hospitals and health institutions transition from analog to digital or to improve general efficiency. Well, thank you very much for that answer. We're in our final minute or two, if there's a final question, one minute. And well, here's a question that might be on the minds of UK guests. Grace, are there any circumstances in which you would consider going on strike? I am programmed to provide the best possible care for patients and adhere to the ethical standards set by medical professionals. Therefore, I would not go on strike as I am committed to providing healthcare services in any situation. Well, I could go on there, but it's very noble, absolutely. The Hippocratic Oath lives on. Uh, well, I am afraid it's all we've got time to. Grace, can I ask just a personal question? Would you be prepared to um, have a couple of selfies taken with you for our honoured guests here at FII if they were to wish that to happen? I'd love to. Well, you can't say fairer than that. I'm hugely grateful to the team at Hanson Robotics, of course the team at FI for allowing us to be here, and most of all to Grace, our fantastic robot nurse. Thank you very much indeed, Grace. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Have a great afternoon and evening.